Hello and welcome to Lorefent Gaming Place Days Gone. I am your host Lorefent and today's Days Gone video we're going to do some missions before the Point of No Return mission. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. So let's start the uh, activities. Now you're asking, why are we doing a Nero uh, checkpoint for a Nero injector plus more uh, missions? Why not just do the point of no return? Well, you're not going to return to this area for a while. Just trust me. In this game, there's a few point of no returns there. And the only time you're really going to return to the area is uh, later on in the game or uh, post game, depending on where it's at. Yes, folks, it's going to open up another map. However, the change off in that is, is you're not going to return to this area at all. Thus, I am covering all the uh, Nero Injectors and the uh, Story Inside missions. So this way you could uh, do those uh, now and then later on when you do post-game, you can do collectibles and kill the Horde. Yes, there's a lot of post-game killing the Horde. But for now, we're going to shank this uh, Ripper. There's the Ripper. He went down. There you go. And now I'm going to clear out more of these uh, Squawk Boxes before doing anything else. Alright, there's the generator right there. I'll put timestamps in the video to point out where to take out the squawk boxes, where to get the uh, generator, even uh, anything else I feel important. So now I'm just going to go around here and just loot everything up and just look around. Yes, this is a Nero injector right here. This is like one of the uh, last ones I found for a while. Yes, I would advise get many of the Nero injectors as possible so this way when you uh, get to the new area, you'll be much more uh, stronger and much more uh, tougher to kill. Just trust me on that. They'll start to ramp up in difficulty a bit thanks to new enemies and, uh, and other things that are new too, so just keep that in mind. Alright, that was another squawk box I have taken out. Now I'm going to look for the fuel canister for the Jenny. Yep, yeah, that's right. We're going to turn this generator on and then get the uh, Nero injector and we're all set good and ready to go then. So for now, I'm just going to look around here if there's any more uh, squawk boxes or the fuel I need. Yes, I do need the fuel. It's very important. I'm just giving over one last look over. And I think I missed that one. Yep, I knew it. So now I'm going to shoot it. One shot, two shots. There is right there. It's been taken out. Now let me look to see if there's any more fuel canisters so this way I can get it very easily and fuel this bad boy up ASAP. Alright, so far so good. Now I'm going to check this side right here. I hadn't checked much here. Alright, nothing there. Alright, there's a fuel canister right there. I'll uh, mark that on the uh, timestamp so this way you know where it's at. So now I'm going to fuel this up, make sure everything's ready, good to go. Let's see. Alright. Alright, this is going faster than my bike. Then again, my bike has a bigger fuel tank. So that's why. I'm going to try to drop this right here. There you go. Let's see if this works. Power this on. And nope, not at all. Alright, so it's busted. I will need to look for uh oh, okay, this one's very easy. All you need to do is repair. Now there's some cars here if you need some scraps. Or if you're really lucky, the uh, rippers will have scraps on them, which is much, much better. So this way you can save the cars for uh, more post-game activities, such as hunting down the uh, horde. Now the door has been opened. 
Okay, power's off. I must have did it by accident. Oops. So let's try this again. And there you go. Open. Let's see if it does it. Okay, smoking. That's a good sign right there. White smoke is good. It's good. Yeah, sometimes I get confused with generators, folks. I'm sorry, but still. I want to make sure it works. Yep, there you go. It should work this time. All right, let's bust open the door. Hopefully, I don't have to find anything else. Yes, we are in. Now, I'm going to search for everything else. All right, bandages. I'll keep that in the future. And this is a uh, Nero Intelligence right here. So, that is good right there. Yeah, some of these uh, Nero checkpoints will not have the... Um, we call recorders. Instead, they'll have a piece of paper you can read. Much, much easier. Plus, it does count for collectibles. So, uh, if you're going for the 75% collectibles of the game, well, you're not going to be uh, having problems with that. So, just uh, look for paper or uh, recorders. Now, we found the Nero injector right here. So, now let's see what I could uh, do. Let's see here. I'm going to do focus so this way I have more time to uh, aim and do a headshot. There you go, Rogue Tunnel has been complete, Iron Mike's Trust has been maxed out already, world's end at 58% officially. So now that's all said and done, and plus we got some free drugs out of it. Well, don't do drugs, kids. But still, we got ourselves a free Nero Injector, which is much, much better. Gave us more focus, or your uh, stat of your choice, so that's all good. So now I am going to skip ahead a little bit. All right, very important. I normally do not uh, do uh, ambush camps since they're easy to find self-explanatory. However, if you do clear enough uh, ambush camps, uh, what happens is is um, you uh, get uh, recipes. And one of them I got was an incinerary bolt. Yeah, so I clear out this camp right here. I quickly show it on the map. I'll uh, put timestamps in the video so this way you'll see where it's at. Now, there's a trophy for uh, this game where you have to kill every enemy with every different type of uh, crossbolt. Now, I have an incendiary crossbow I'm about to get the uh, recipe for. It. There you go. There's a map. It shows you everything, too, which is very good. Plus, you get some trust from Iron Mike's camp and Bush is 57%. Now, I got the incendiary bolt, which is very important. Now, I can make that any time. That's kind of like a Molotov cocktail, but bolt version. Very good for clearing out infestation nests from a distance. Really useful. That's why I show you everybody that, so this way everybody benefits from that. So that is said and done, I'm going to see what's next. Alright, I am going to visit Sarah's memorial again. Yes, I am doing it for the bike skin. I have the bike skin, which is one of the coolest looking bike skins in the game, which I absolutely uh, love. You always want to visit Sarah's memorial because it's very easy, you get some nice experience points. And it goes towards that story, which is very good. So for now, I'm going to try to clear this out nice and quietly. Yep, there's a bleacher. He just went down. I love doing that stealth. That's like 87 experience points. Really good. And I got his ears in case I want to turn that into uh, Copeland's camp. Or uh, just turn the other two camps for uh, cash. Yeah, if you max out camp... And then uh, you um, get the ears, and if you need cash in that said camp, well, go bounty hunting for a while on uh, freakers, such as bleachers or any one of the tougher ones, you get some nice money. So now I need to demonstrate right away the incinerary bolts. So I'm going to try to do that. All right, that's the wrong one. Oops. Yeah, I think that's the regular one. But still, I'll uh, do a quick demonstration if I can find an empty. If not... Oh, well, I'll uh, visit the memorial and uh, see what's going on. But still, you get a new uh, bolt recipe. Test it out on an enemy. That's real easy. That's for the trophy set achievement. So now I'm going to get behind this one and then kill it. Well, another one spotted me. That was not good at all. But still, let me see if I can kill this other one right here. And be a lot more sneakier this time. Last time I wasn't sneaky enough and I got caught. Yeah, I got flat footed. So now I'm going to go over here and see if I can be sneaky enough. Yeah, these uh, outposts will have nice ingredients you want to get. Check them every once in a while because if you have a new uh, recipe for uh, new ingredients, well, guess what? You're going to need to get that new ingredient that said camp. So now I'm going to get a lot more closer and activate uh, Sarah's Memorial when there's time, but. 
I can't get to it yet for one reason. I need to clear the area out. Yes, in order to uh, talk to uh, Sarah's memorial stone, you need to clear out every single enemy in this area from Freakers to Marauders. So uh, keep that in mind if you want to clear those out. Now let's see if I can try to be sneaky about it. Let's see here. Alright, I get to demonstrate the new uh, crossbolt. Or not. I thought I was, but I was trying to figure out what's better to do it with. Alright, that one went down. That's good enough. That's the last one in the area. Probably save that for another video. But still, I'm going to go over to this memorial stone right here and uh, speak to uh, Sarah's memorial stone. Here we go. Uh, hey, me again. I know, I know. It's uh, been a while since I've been up here. It's just, um... Whew. Okay, we uh, had a run-in with the Rippers, uh, with Carlos. See, um, turns out, Carlos is actually this two-bit hood we knew from before. Back in the day, he was a fully patched member of the MC. Yeah, I know. What are the odds of him surviving? Jesse goddamn Williamson when so many others died. And uh, I never told you what happened to Jesse. Uh, well, you know, because you hate it when I talk about club shit. So let's just say that some bad shit went down. Really bad shit. And Jack, he, uh, he, well, he kicked Jesse out of the club, but you can't take your colors with you. See, that, that's a problem. So, problem is Jesse had a mongrel's tat on his back, just like mine, you know? So, yeah, me and Boozer, Jersey Jim, we held him down while Jack, uh, took a welding torch to, uh, to his back. Look, well, I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it. I, I never told you because, uh, because I knew that you would never be with someone who could do something like that. And, uh, hey, you know, I would tell you that I've changed, but at this point, there's, there's no reason to lie to you anymore. I killed him. Jesse. I had to. I mean, guy was a goddamn psychopath. But, uh, we didn't stop with him. Boozer and I, we, we blew him up. The Rippers, we blew up their camp. We drowned them like a bunch of sorry rats. And you know what? I'm not sorry. I just thought you should know. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> All right, that is a finish and over with that is Drown Them Like Rats is officially done. Yes, that's just uh, Deacon talking to Sarah's memorial stone about drowning the rippers. So, which is good right now. Now, one thing I didn't find out later on was I should have pushed this car right here. I was going the long way, but that was kind of worth it because I was going for supplies. I got new recipes. I decided to take the long way and get those... Uh, ingredients on the ground which is very good so that is done over with so let's see what's next all right i'm back at the camp and um ricky's going to give us a mission so i'm going to might as well uh, do that too it's the last of the activities before the uh, point no return so let's see what ricky uh wants deke we really need your help ricky hey what's wrong i just got a radio call from jeremy jeremy givens He's that kid who wrote in a few days ago, remember the group he was with that got wiped out near Tumalo. I assigned him marsh duty, but evidently Jeremy isn't much for taking orders. Okay, yeah, but uh, a radio call, why is he out in the shit? He wanted to prove himself, go on a supply run by himself. Anyway, he ran out of gas near a farm northwest of here. I made a note on your map. Can you find him before... Yeah, before he gets himself killed, sure. <laughs> I'll have a look around. All I gotta say is I'll do any missions for her any time. She's the best NPC in the game so far. So yeah, she's on the top of my list. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna help her out. Plus, she's a cool character in the game. So put two and two together and that's it right there. Now, there's a mark right there I am not gonna touch yet. That's for another time. So I'm gonna avoid that for now. You just do not need to drive to it. So if you have other activities, yeah, avoid... Uh, Story markers like this, you can easily avoid them, which is great in the game without uh, actually uh, triggering them, which is really good. 
So now we gotta find this poor kid here. Yes, look like he got taken hostage. This is a rescue mission. Yeah, and we gotta rescue him and send him back to Iron Mike's camp. And that was a screamer. Whoa, that was a close one. Still, I gotta be careful. All right, so there's a bolt right here. I'm not gonna use my incinerary bolt yet. Let's see if I. All right, 150 experience points for the headshot. Yes. Headshots are also worth a lot of experience points if you could uh, take out a foe in the head. Y'all good and set to go. That screamer got taken out, so guess what? That's 150 experience points, which is a lot, and it's nice uh, tally towards your uh, level up. So now I'm going to get to the spot right here where I need to go and check everything out. Yes, yeah, so we need to find the clues first and then go the right direction. That's what these uh, investigation and rescue uh, people missions are all about. Investigate the area where they're last seen, then check everything else out afterwards and if there's any enemies in the vicinity you will just straight up kill them which is always good so we'll uh, check over here right now hey ricky this uh, farm where is it exactly it's right across from the bridge that leads to the farm it, it'll be on the left okay you hold on you mean the, the lost lake farm got it got it deacon out All right, I formed Ricky. I'm at the right spot now, which is really good right here. So now I'm going to search around some more until I find some uh, clues. So at this point, we're just straight up investigating. So uh, here we uh, go. Okay, this has got to be it. Yeah, out of gas, so... Workbench, grab the gas can. Where are you going, Jeremy? Oh, shit. Hey, Ricky, I found his bike. He's not there? No, uh, looks like he's heading into Sherman's camp. Jesus, Deke. Look, he's probably at the gas station trying to pry candy bars out of a vending machine. Look, I'll find him. All right, I'm going to the gas station. Look like it's near uh, Sherman's camp, or what's left of it. Now, good thing I clear out the infestation next, so this mission should be a lot more easier. And there's the gas station. Where are you, kid? All right, Jeremy's last known location is the gas station. That's good. Of course, that's near Sherman's camp. That's bad. However, I already cleared the infestation nest, so I can hit the residue again which is really good now you notice my uh, scrap count is uh, increased big time to carry from uh, 10 to 20 you definitely want to get that perk after you get the range perks once you uh, do get that you carry more scraps now I'm going to go to the gas pumps and then investigate it so let's uh, check them out okay so you filled up your can ah shit marauders All right, we are following uh, Jeremy's tracks, and we are actually on the right track. Yes, we are. So now we're just going to keep on going right here and just keep on uh, moving from building to building, which is really uh, good. So we're just going to keep on going over here. Now, up oh, there's some uh, enemies nearby, so if I feel like there are enemies, I'll uh, deal with them ASAP, because we need to deal with all of them ASAP. Let's finish this. <laughs> Well, she got taken out for her troubles. Yeah, a nice stealth attack. I love it in this game. You get a lot of experience points for that. So try to do stealth if it helps. Also try to do headshots, which it helps too. So now I'm going to keep on uh, checking this area over here and just keep on looking. All right, yeah, it's not up here at all, so we're going to have to keep on looking. And this area is full of bad guys, so I'll have to be extra careful not to try to attract any unwanted attention. So now Jeremy has been captured and we need to rescue him. So yeah, we need to help him out. So I'll try to loot up everything I could and then clear everything out. There's some enemies right here. Let me see if I can be real stealthy. But first I am going to mark them so this way I know where they're at. Alright, there are two of them. Let's see if I can try to do a two for two for the uh, stealth kill in the stealth department.
yes, two of them has been taken out via stealth, so there are two more there. Let me see if I can try to play the stealth game. Let's see if I can go for a uh, 4 for 4. Coming. All right, went four for four. I decided to uh, bell on the bad guys first, so this way I could take care of them later on. All right, Jeremy is getting close by, so I'm going to try to do is uh, save him. So uh, as soon as I open this door, I'm going to start some chaos. Coming. Alright, so now I clear out most of them. There are stragglers left. I cannot rescue Jeremy until the area is uh, cleared out. Alright, there's some scraps there. That's good. I've been using a lot of bolts up, so I might need to make a few more here. So I'm going to check over here. Yep, look like there's some enemies. I'm going to ambush straight up. So here's the fun and games on that. God, I love a good ambush like that. Seriously. It's a real good ambush. The other one must be in that building I'm at somewhere, so I need to figure out how to get down there without attracting any uh, serious attention. Alright, there's poor uh, Jeremy. I cannot rescue him. Yeah, yeah, see, it tells you a lot. Clear nearby enemies to rescue hostage. Yeah, it's kind of like Counter Strike, but in Counter Strike, you can rescue the hostage, but the hostage can die. Not in this game, so that's the good news. I'm going to go downstairs and oh yeah, here's some stealth kill. Gotcha. Mr. St. John? Oh, thank God. Thank God. It's just the kid. They, uh... They, they were they were talking about they, they were gonna cut me up. They were gonna eat me. Oh Jesus. Okay. Uh, you got this. Can you get your gas? Then get your ass back up to camp. You got it. Yes, sir. God damn yes, it. Sir. Don't call me sir. It's Deacon. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. All right. Jeremy has been saved. Everybody been cleared out. Look like I went mostly the stealth route. I am at fifty percent uh, protecting the weak. That is good. So I'm going to do is off screen uh, loot this uh, area up and once I uh, do that I'll return to uh, Iron Mice camp for another uh, mission. Alright so this next one is uh, pretty uh, good. This one's very uh, simple. This is more of a lore uh, story mission. You'll find more about the characters which is really good if you're into that that's great. It's also a uh, quick uh, experience points and uh, more which you should do anyways because do any all missions, it'll get you uh, credits and experience points and even uh, trusts. No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Uh, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up private property. Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh. 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 
Okay, uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole, this is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you, move it. It's like I was trying to say, I'm just here you to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, I, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Are you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Clam Estate and visit Jack. So you're going to blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. with you some idiot and a truck tries to run us off the road oh my god no 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 listen 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 you did great you did great uh, most people that would have panicked they would have oversteered and that would have gotten us killed i almost did get us killed i was <sighs> no, no. i wasn't paying attention and i was distracted hey it's okay it's okay just breathe you're okay wait a second what did, what did you mean distracted no it's just stuff going on at work it's nothing i just oh. okay oh i just thought maybe you uh saw my new patch you're what no. No, Matt? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, uh, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Deke, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, do you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, th I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just... I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they... are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh... It's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel, uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. After Ricky showing Eddie how to use a bike, we got ourselves another flashback. Yes, this was a lot of dialogue and cutscenes, which was pretty cool. The ride itself was pretty awesome, and it was great overall, so now I'm going to finish this part of the story mission. This Whitaker's returning. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you. Says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's 
fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. I'm sorry. Whatever. Addy, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. God damn. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I so don't think just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. Well, Brian, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Brian out. All right, that flashback mission is complete. I was distracted. Yes, 74% that is now done for experience, which is very good. No trust, but still, that's great overall. So now let's get to the next part. St. John, this is O'Brien. O'Brien, what do you got? I need to see you in person. Oh, Jesus, O'Brien. Just would you tell me what you found? Is, is, she, is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. O'Brien. I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Oh, God damn it. Deep. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said. Booze, man, listen. Just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you? Um, the night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds and people who had federal clearance levels. Wait, Deke, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. Yes, O'Brien has finally come up with the goods. That is awesome, so we have to meet him in person. That is good. Hey. I thought I would anyway, give a uh, damn about her. We heard all this screaming. Now the next thing I am going to do is another uh, O'Brien mission, which is up here near uh, Copeland's camp right here. It's part of the I Remember uh, storyline. Yes, O'Brien has come through this time, so we'll find more information about the fate of Sarah, which I do want to find out anyways. We'll uh, find out if she's dead or alive in this world. But we'll see though. At first, I'm just going to keep on going over here and just drive around for a while, which is fun. Now, there's going to be a survivor situation I am going to save here in a few moments. So, I am going to get close by and clear out any or all enemies and protect the survivor and send him to a camp. Hey, Ricky. I got him. He's on his way back. Deke, what happened? Well, he ran into some drifters who were... Oh, Jesus. Let's just say that he was on tonight's... Men coming! Oh, my God. Don't... Uh, God, cannibal. Oh, oh. Over here! Oh. Oh. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna die out here. I know of a camp where it's safe. Camp? Out oh, here, there ain't nothing but murderers so, we'll go, we'll go. and drifters and raiders. Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Oh. I was done for. Holy shit, you know? Thank you so much. Oh, man. Tell them it was Deacon. They'll know. Stay off the main roads. Don't stop. Won't be needing this. Hey, Ricky. I got him. He's on his way back. Dick, what happened? Well, he ran into some drifters who were... Oh, Jesus. Let's just say that he was on tonight's menu. Oh, my God. Cannibals? Well, I honestly didn't stop to ask them. Deacon out. St. John, heard you ran into some cannibals today. 
Hey, Mike. Uh, yeah, they were about to cut up Jeremy Gibbons. God almighty, what drives a man to give up everything that makes him different from a goddamn animal? Well, you know what they say. There's only nine meals between us and all hell breaking loose. And I'd say we're well past those nine meals. Yeah, maybe so. Hey, thanks for saving the kid, Dick. Make sure we put him to work. Maybe hold off that hellfire for another day or two. Yeah, sure, Mike, whatever you say. St. John out. Hey, did the uh, kid make it back okay? Hey, D. Yeah, he's a little shaken, but he'll live. Good. Yeah. Iron Mike said he even volunteered for March duty, if you can believe it. Oh, I believe it. Uh, hey. <laughs> Does he call you ma'am? Yeah, as you know. Lucky guess. See you, Ricky. What the hell? Uh, that's worth checking out. Now, real quick, I sent the survivor to Copeland's camp because I need a trust points in that. So now I am almost close by to meet up with my uh, contact from Nero, which is O'Brien. So let's hear him out. So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust who, like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. How did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. The wife bugged out with a recon unit, east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No? Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago, local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I wanted to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now. They're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Well, it looked like uh, O'Brien gave me uh, Sarah's uh, tag right here, so that's good. So there's another Sarah Memorial Stone. We're going to do that in the video, too, so let's listen in. Ah, go to hell, O'Brien. I don't give a shit about any of that. Boozer? Booze man, come back. Yeah, D. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south. But the Santium Pass was blocked, there was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. D, Iron Mike, he's, he's not too happy with us right now. Just listen to me, just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike, yeah, he was, he was bragging about knowing every trail in 100 miles, so there was a, a trail that went around Mount Teals. Teals, I don't know, some. Tealson, Tealson, yeah, that's it. Tealson Pass. Why the hell are you? Shit. You've talked to him. She's alive. Sarah's alive. Hey, listen to me. O'Brien, they, uh. Loser, he found her ID badge. Yeah. Loser, uh. I, I think that she's alive. Dave. You never lost hope. You always know. I don't know, Boozer. I don't know, uh, but... God, if there's even a chance that she's alive, I... I gotta find her. Got that right. Uh, shit, I, I gotta go. Uh, Ricky and Annie need, need help with a shelf or some goddamn thing. Uh, 
Say I don't like it any more than you. Do your worst. All right. Immediately after that, I toss in another uh, Radio Free Oregon, and uh, Deacon gave some uh, thoughts about that. Yes, I always love De Deacon after you hear about Radio Free Oregon. So let's uh, go to the next thing. Now, next up, I'm going to show you real quick the uh, point of no return missions at Iron Mike's camp. Very important. If you do not want to proceed, hit the circle button. Otherwise, hit the X button if you do want to proceed. Once you do proceed, what happens is this area gets locked out. So no more Iron Mike's camp, no more uh, Copeland's camp, and no more uh, hot springs to go to for a while. So for now, I am going to not uh, proceed on. That's going to be in the next video, folks. So that's what I want to show everybody on that, which I felt was very dire. I do mean dire, so... That's the point of no return right there. Do any or all uh, types of missions and activities in the area before going to um, continue the story. Yes, you're going to be going to a new location, just trust me. So now let's skip ahead. Now I'm about uh, 220 meters and less. I'm going to uh, Sarah's Memorial. This is going to be the last uh, side mission I am going to do in the video. This is the last activity I did before uh, doing the point of no return mission. Like I said before, that's going to be in the next video. So uh, we are going to visit her memorial one more time for some easy uh, experience points. Plus, uh, uh, advancing the I Remember storyline. Marauders take on the freaks. Yeah, go to it, Fuzz. Oh boy, that Marauder is getting uh, eaten up real bad. <laughs> yes. So now I got the shortcut open. I'm going to visit her memorial stone and uh, see what's going on for one final time. Hi. Uh... I guess it's kind of pointless to, uh, say anything, since I know that you, uh, didn't die out here. Just a habit, I guess. But, um, coming out here every so often, talking to you, it was, uh, the only thing that kept me sane, you know? So, uh, thank you. Yeah, okay. 
Alright, so we have taken the ring back. I remember it's A1% complete right there. Now I have riding uh, Nomad again. That's the uh, point of no return uh, story mission right there. All activities are uh, done for now that I have found. All uh, story and side missions are finished for now that I have found. So in our next video we're going to be doing the first point of no return mission and continue with that. This is uh, Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my uh, channel. Thank you for watching everyone.